Napa Valley is located at the heart of wine country in California. One of the most popular and important wine-making regions in North America, it features more than 400 vineyards and wineries, spread out over nearly 7,000 acres. Now, while that sounds like a dream for wine fans, it also makes choosing where to stay challenging, particularly for first-time visitors, as many of the areas are notably different from each other. In today's video, I will be looking at where to stay in Napa Valley and outlining the best areas to stay in Napa Valley. I'll start with Napa Town, the largest and principal city in the Napa County metropolitan area. It is also the second largest city in what is known as California's wine country, having been originally incorporated in 1872. As the primary business district in the Napa Valley, this is likely the best place to stay for anyone looking for the conveniences of a major city. With a nearby airport, it is also a convenient place to get in and out of a city without any hassle. The city is dissected by the Napa River, which flows through on its way to the San Pablo Bay. Beautiful in its own right, it has been recolonized by beavers in recent years. This makes it a fabulous place to go for a stroll and take in some unique wildlife. The next area is American Canyon. Formerly known as Napa Junction, it lies on the banks of the southern part of the Napa River, just before it empties in San Pablo Bay. American Canyon is not only one of the youngest cities on this list, but is also one of the only ones that isn't overly known for wine production. That said, it is still bordered to the north by many of the vineyards and wineries on the outskirts of Napa. This is an area where visitors can enjoy the great outdoors in a number of different ways. For starters, the aforementioned river and bay are just a short distance away. Featuring a nature reserve as well, they are a great place to get out on the water and experience the local wildlife. For a third destination, we yet again move a short way north to the town of Yountville. Named after early pioneer George C. Yount, it is yet another destination that takes great pride in its history. For starters, it is the home of the Napa Valley Museum. Hosting exhibitions, collections and educational programs, it is the number one place to learn more about the Napa Valley. You can see examples of the art, culture and way of life that make this part of the world so famous. Continuing north from our previous destination, we are now going to look at a location known as Oakville. With a population of less than 100 people, it is easily one of the smallest locations on this list, as well as one of the least populated towns you are likely to visit in general. However, the reason it makes this list is that it is probably just the kind of destination you would be expecting when taking a trip into the heart of wine country. Since 1993 it has been recognized as a distinct appellation a legally protected area where prominent types of grape are grown for wine. Our next stop is just two miles further north from Oakville, in a town called Rutherford. While not as famous as the previous destination, it largely resembles Oakville in many ways, as you may expect from two destinations so close together. This includes featuring an almost identical population. It is again a place with numerous reputable wineries, including the Beaulieu Vineyard, Gitch Hills Estate, St. Supri Estate Vineyards and Winery, as well as the Elizabeth Spencer and Inglenook Wineries. What makes these wineries different to its neighbor, though, is the distinctive Rutherford dust soil that the grapes are grown in. Our next destination is yet again another short way north along US 29, this time being located a little over four miles from Rutherford. However, we begin to get back to the more heavily populated areas here, with St. Helena having a population of a little over 6,000 people. While not as personal or traditional as our previous two locations, St. Helena is still a fabulous place for people to go to drink and learn about wine. That's because the city is located at the very center of the eponymous St. Helena American Viticultural Area. Our final destination, Calistoga, is located another eight miles north of St. Helena, but is still just 36 miles from where we started. Located at the very north end of Napa Valley, you are on the edge of wine country in Calistoga. Don't worry though, there are still plenty of wineries within a short drive for you to enjoy. In fact, this is one of the best places to experience the area as it would have traditionally looked. That's because there are no freeways, just two-lane roads in and out of town, while fast food chains are also banned. This allows it to offer a very traditional experience. However, this is one of the few locations in Napa Valley where wine isn't the main attraction. The town's name is a combination of California and Saratoga Springs in New York, as both feature prominent hot springs. That concludes a list of the best areas to stay in Napa Valley. Hopefully, this should have given you all the information you need to decide on the perfect location when you make your own trip to one of the most important wine-making regions in North America.